But yeah, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face color pop. Some of these products are not color pop because they don't have that specific color pop product. So I'm just going to kind of just speed through those products, but I am going to be including all of my color pop products in this video. So I'm first going to start with the brows. Um I'm just going I'm going to do the brows off camera real quick and then I'm gonna come back and meet I am actually going to be carving out the brows with a ColourPop concealer. Okay, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. This one is in Fair. And I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand first. Then I'm going to take my Morphe and Ariel brush number 18 and carve out the brows. I'm just going to start carving out the bottom. Take what's left on the back of my hand, I'm going to take the other side of the brush and go on top. Okay, now for um, eye primer, I'm going to use the ColourPop Party Proof Eye Primer. This one is in translucent. Hey guys, today we are going to be using the ColourPop Glowing Coconuts Eyeshadow Powder. I'm going to take the color, let's see, let's do blended, or lovely bunch. And I'm going to take the Morphe and Ariel brush number 811, and this is going to go in the crease. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe and Ariel brush number 820, and we're going to take Get Kraken, and we are going to apply this on the outer part of the eye. Kind of interlock them first and then blend it up in the crease slightly. Okay, normally when I apply a shimmer. I only use my fingers, but I have lashes, or not lashes, nails that kind of poke me when I do put the, um, put the shimmer in the inner corner, so I'm actually going to be using a brush, and I'm going to spray my um, setting spray on the brush so that the color can be very vibrant. So for the shimmer shade, we are going to use use the color Coco Crush, which is the middle shade. I'm going to apply this right on the lid. Okay, we're going to come back to the palette later. I'm going to actually try to do to apply this with my fingers. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Ritz. This is my favorite Super Shock Shadow. It's so pretty. It does work. Okay, then what I like to do, I'm going to take a clean blending brush like this one. This is from e.l.f. This is a, um e.l.f. blending brush. I'm just going to kind of blend in the crease. And then I'll be right back. I'm actually going to get some makeup wipes to clean up the outer edges. So I'm going to use my makeup wipe and kind of also my finger just to get a nice kind of crisp line. I think I went too far. That a little. Let's do eyeliner. So I'm going to take the ColourPop BFF liquid liner in Grande. And what I like to do is I only like to um, line the outer part of the eye. So I'm just going to do a tiny wing. Okay, like that. And that's all I do for some eyeliner. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the Morphe and Ariel brush number 818 and take Nutty just to set the eyeliner. I'm going to show you what um, moisture, tinted moisturizer I'm using. So this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This is my favorite tinted moisturizer ever. I do have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue but this one 
this one tops it. It's so amazing. I love it. And this one is in fair. What I found out is that I don't like to use a brush when applying this moisturizer. I actually like to use, <laughs> I mean, tinted moisturizer. I like to actually use my beauty blender. So I'm going to just um, put some of this on the back of my hand. And then I like to dampen my beauty blender by just spraying my finishing spray on it. And then I can just start applying it to the face. And I don't do this all the time, but I, I sometimes go in with another pump of, of the tinted moisturizer, like I'm gonna do now. And I just like to kind of focus that on the cheeks because that's where I have uh, like redness and some pimples, so, or some blemishes, so I just like to cover that a little bit more. Next we're gonna go into concealer. Now I'm gonna use the same concealer that I used on the, for carving out the brows. I'm just going to apply this on the eye first and on the lash. I'm gonna let that kind of sit for a little bit, and I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender just to blend my eyeliner. Right, while I let the Contour kind of sit on the nose for a little bit. I'm going to set the face. I'm going to take a bigger fluffy brush like this one. This one is the Morphe and Ariel brush number A21. To set the outsides of the face. Okay, what I like to do when for setting or not setting for blending in the nose contour, I like to use my beauty blender. I like to use the point side. And then just use the back of my eyeliner. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna going to use the same fluffy brush. With the Morphe and Ariel brush number A21. I'm going to apply some blush. I love using this brush to apply blush. It's so nice. This is the Morphe and Ariel brush number A21. I mean A22. And I like to place it a little bit higher than normal than normally, like when you usually apply it, you smile and apply it here. I'm going to go up a little bit further up. Okay, so next I want to do some highlighting. So I'm going to take the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Flexitarian. I'm going to first apply this to the high points of the face. And the bridge of the nose. Okay, so I'm letting my liquid lipstick kind of dry for a little bit. I'm going to um, spray my finishing spray. This is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Mist. This is my new favorite setting spray. I absolutely love this one. And I like to kind of shake it up before I spray it. I'm going to apply some brow gel. Then for a lip gloss, I'm going to use the ColourPop So Glossy Lip Gloss in Spring Fever. This video was so fun for me to do because ColourPop is one of my favorite makeup brands. I 
it is just so much fun to do. I'm definitely going to add to my ColourPop uh, collection and so now let's do the Bible verse of the day. This one is Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And again, that was Hebrews 13, 8. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and see you guys in the next one. Bye!